so this is going to be problem number one on belt friction and uh, here we go so what do we have okay let me just read the problem for you and simultaneously we'll be understanding this entire arrangement involving drums and pulleys and masses and this cord over here okay here we go the maximum tension that can be developed in the cord shown in the figure below is 500 newtons so along this cord the maximum tension developed is 500 not more okay if the pulley at a is free to rotate this pulley at this a point a is free to rotate very well and the coefficient of static friction at the drums b and c these are the drums b and c and obviously we've been given the coefficient of static friction over here okay at b and at c it is equal to 0 0.25 what we need to work out is the largest mass of the cylinder largest mass of the cylinder over here okay hanging that can be lifted by the cord okay what is this mass in kgs that can be lifted by the cord but make sure that the tension in the cord need not go above 500 newton so this is a very important condition and please take a note of it what to do sir start by making a free body diagram concerning this much portion only okay when i say free body diagram we are interested in the cord and not the drums although i am going to make the drum also right just to make it look more realistic here we go sir how is this 45 degrees you'll understand eventually don't worry okay we've taken this as 500 newtons we know that the maximum tension or maximum force developed is 500 newtons so based on this we are going to work out the mass of this cylinder okay hanging at the end or the other end of the cord sir uh do i have marked 45 degrees and 135 degrees uh, we haven't understood this you will eventually look uh how much is this angle sir uh this is 45 this is 45 this has also got to be 45 look one thing is for sure this angle over here between these two lines is 90 degrees so if this is 45 this much only this much has got to be 45 this is 90 minus 45 that is 45 again if you take a closer look let me draw one more line so we've got two parallel lines let me show this to you parallel line parallel line here we go so parallel lines and this happens to be a transversal okay half of it is white half of it is black so if that is the case if this is 45 degrees this also has got to be 45 degrees so this totality is 180 180 minus 45 will give you 135 135 actually is the angle of contact which is very important beta right okay so far so good now which one is the tighter side sir this one is the tighter side that is why whenever uh, i talk about a tighter side uh, make sure you mark it as t2 and not t1 okay this one is the slacker one slack side right okay so t2 by t1 is equal to e raised to mu beta now we need to plug in the values t2 is 500 t1 is something we'll work out e well the the number is 2.708 i guess uh, mu has been given as 0 0.25 and as far as beta is concerned well it is 135 degrees but you need to convert this into radians so multiply it by pi over 180 when you do that 45 times 3 is 135 45 times 4 is 180 on solving this you are going to get angle beta in radians as 3 pi over 4 done so just try to plug in this value let me do that for you and on solving for t1 this is what you get 277.4 now let me update the entire figure for you here we go so this is t1 277 277.4 if this is 277 this also is going to be 277 this pulley is free to rotate so on the other side of the pulley the same cord is there this is also 277.4 okay the friction is at the drums b and c remember this okay so if the friction is at the drums then on both the side of the drum this side and this side the value of tension are going to be different but not at the pulley even here on one side you've got 277.4 but on the other side it will be 
slightly different and let me talk about this let me consider free body of this drum c and the chord okay here we go again the same thing angle a is going to be 135 this is the tighter slide t2 this is the slacker side t1 t1 you can take it as tough what i have basically done is i have uh, the cylinder's mass is m the corresponding weight is going to be mg w equals mg this is exactly what i have done so t2 by t1 same funda uh, this is the relationship that relationship that we developed in the last class just plug in the value t2 277.4 over t1 that is w e power mu beta solve for w 153.9 what do you need sir we need the mass w equals mg and g equals 9.81 just plug in the value mass is 15.7 kg let me update the figure here it is 15.7 kg is the mass of the cylinder which this cord is able to lift and show that the maximum tension developed is not more than 500 newtons so that was the entire problem for you thank you very very much i'm sure you liked the video and do share it with your friends and your classmates thank you very much good day